I fell in love with Jerry on our very first date, but it took me three years to catch him, and I literally chased him for three years because he was, he was, he was totally dedicated to being a good football player and working real hard at that. He certainly wanted his degree, and he had to work real hard for those grades to get that degree, but very serious about what got him there, which was a football scholarship. Jerry Moore's hard work and dedication to football while at Baylor University paid off. In his senior year with the Bears, he was seventh in the nation in receptions for a team that visited the Gator Bowl. His work ethic that got him through colleges carried over into his coaching. But instead of his year ending with the last football game, as Mrs. Moore points out, the toughest time of the year has yet to begin. A lot of people think that football season is the hard season of the year, but recruiting is the part that's really hard. That's when they're gone. Plus, their whole weekend's taken up then. Um, your, your weeknights, your weekdays, the whole weekend. But you just kind of ease into it, and you have to love it. It is a rocky profession, but I've always said that I wanted Jerry to be happy. And there was a time when he was not in coaching, and he was absolutely miserable. He missed probably as much as anything the relationship with his with kids. And I think he made a vow that once he got back into coaching, he would really try to make a difference in kids' lives. Um, and I think that's another reason he was given that opportunity to get back into coaching. Coach Moore can be seen pacing up and down these sidelines on Saturday afternoons in his calm, cool, and collected manner. Rarely will you see him get excited during the course of the game. But this is something that Coach Moore admits to. He is not one to give impassioned speeches at halftime. Rather, he uses self-motivational phrases like, what do you want to be remembered for, and let's take care of our business. But as his wife points out, this is the key to Jerry Moore's success in communicating with his players. There are times when I've just wished he would show a little bit more emotion on the sideline and fire the kids up, uh, but he, he, that's not Jerry, and they would, I think they would see that, that, um, that he really is, not he gets his message across just by his own mannerisms and just the way he's put together as a coach. There's an old saying, what you see is what you get. There is no truer statement about Coach Moore. His even keel manner on the field carries over into his family life. You know, a good wife is sometimes made that way because she has a good husband. Jerry is, um, he is so thoughtful, very giving. Uh, he's not, he, he's not critical. He's sharing. He thinks of his family first as a husband. Um, you know, again, after 32 years, there's a, you have to work at that. You have to work at being a good husband and a good wife. The kids really respect their dad. Um, and I, we have to do so much long distance now with our young adult children. And he gives a lot of fatherly advice on that phone that sometimes you don't even have that opportunity to do when you're sitting with them on the couch. But he, I can just, you know, I hear his conversations, and our kids are at an age now where they need some good fatherly advice. And he's just my very best friend.